All of these rhythm games are too freaking happy and cheery. Christmas is coming and Mariah Carey is defrosting as we speak, so we're gonna make a cosmic horror rhythm game to bring down the mood a little bit and the spirit of Halloween. The first step you want to take before starting work on any kind of a game is to point out the mechanics and what's gonna happen in there. Rhythm games are kind of fun for this because you can pick a song and then start thinking about the mechanics. That's what I generally do. I like to imagine what each instrument and sound in the song would work like in game. So Cosmic Horror, most of us will be familiar with it. It's defined as a horror subgenre that focuses on the fear of the unknowable and incomprehensible. It often grapples with themes of madness and futility when the characters try to understand with their stupid monkey brains, their motivations and the ways of the ancient gods that these stories are built around. To me, when I think Cosmic Horror music, I think this dark ambient vibe, maybe low drones, not very heavy on the beat. Maybe something like what you're hearing right now. And this song is what I was planning the game for originally. I thought it'd be kind of cool if some mechanical horror thing was on this gear track going around the player and its attacks would be notes that we have to hit to defend ourselves. And then I started thinking about how difficult this game would be and how many notes the player would have to hit and how fun that would be. And I realized that there's not much to work with here. I mean, yeah, thematically it's perfect, but when it comes to actual gameplay, this song would make for a very boring game. So back to square one. I realized that I need to move away from being thematically perfect and towards what I find fun and rhythm games. And that's generally songs with a very strong melody that you want to tap your keyboard to. You'll never hear anyone go, oh, this song with a creaking tree for a beat and a freaking wailing ghost in the background as a bop that makes me want to headbang. And that's what it needs to be. It needs to be a bop. So, new plan. Our cosmic horror just went metal. We're gonna keep that idea of an enemy attacking us and it's of course gonna be Cthulhu so we're gonna draw him. With these harder to draw sprites, especially when I'm in a rush, I like to trace other drawings with pixel art just because it makes my life way easier. So that's what we did. Don't think even for a second that I can do original pixel art like that. Moving on. Throughout this entire process, I'm kind of thinking how am I going to be able to chart this entire song? Is it going to be difficult for the player? Like, are, are they going to freak out and not be able to keep up with the notes? And then I messed up and made some parts of the game a bit too difficult, but it's not in the way that you might think. And my song choice was definitely not the problem, but that's for later. With these big complex sprites, it's really hard to animate them by hand. Thankfully, there's an easier way though, and with Cthulhu done, I split him up into parts and animated him to kind of jump around to the beat. It's really not what I imagined this game would be like when I set out to do a cosmic horror rhythm game. I thought I really have some horror elements, but now it's cosmic horror only because Cthulhu's in here. For the player character, I could not decide what I wanted him to be, so I made a crazy looking heart. For the background, I added a recolored ocean from open game art, and for the notes, I grabbed this fire spell from itch.io. I also added a little fog shader to spook the player when Cthulhu shows up, and with that, all of the housekeeping was done. And the most difficult part of the entire process was ahead of me, charting the song, just placing the notes in the right timings and syncing them with the music. You might be wondering how this is done in rhythm games, <laughs> and I wish I could tell you, because whatever I do can't be it. So what I do is I figure out the beats per second of a song that I'm working with, and then set the speed of the notes so that they pass a set distance every beat so that I can kind of see visually when I place them around the level how many beats passed between different notes. But yeah, this is basically all done by hand. I place all of the notes around in a sequence and I kind of made this simple AI that can play the game perfectly just so that I can hear the audio feedback that's played when a note is hit 
and I tried to align this feedback with the note and the song by moving the note and game. Charting the entire song probably took me two out of the three days that I worked on this, so I'm going to spare you the details. One thing that I wanted to include in the game though was like the super difficult part where the player just sits on the edge of their seat for like 20 seconds, and I kinda overdid it a little bit as you will see from people's reaction to the game. I used a pretty simple yet effective way of doing this. I increased the scroll speed of the song for those 20 seconds, which just means that the notes move faster, so the timings need to be a little more precise. But it feels to the player that the song just got like a billion times harder when all the notes are the same, and when you need to hit them is exactly the same too. After completing the chart, there was a couple of things that I wanted to do before I finally posted the game. I wanted to add hit precision, combos, and finally scores. I made S rank pretty achievable since this is a game jam game and people won't spend a lot of time playing it. And I feel like people will feel better about themselves if they get a high rank. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anyone, but you need only 14,000 points out of possible 23,000. The last thing I did was make the where you get visually hurt when the spells hit him. Finally, I could breathe a sigh of relief and submit the game to the game jam. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't say this at the start of the video, but this game was made for a little cosmic horror competition. Um, the results are not out yet, but if you're watching anytime after November 3rd, you can check out how my game did. But we sure as heck are gonna check out the comments right now. Awesome, for just three days. Fun idea, gotta be an only miss 10, which I'm happy with. Pretty fun, but too hard for me. Okay, this one is the one that kinda made me feel like the part where the notes speed up got a little too hard. Super fun! Metal AF, super yet effective! Great art style! Pretty fun and really cool art! Man, game developers are super nice. Anyways, if you want to play the game yourself, you can do that in your browser. There's gonna be a link in the comments. Let me know what you think. And I mean, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Check this video out where I made a CAD game for Catterday, or this other video with the latest update on my Steam game. Subscribe please. See you next time.